Hey, hey, folks. Here yeah, with another update of Avergarth, a game I've been working on in my free spare time here and there. Has been a while, but uh, still going on. <laughs> As noted on my previous video, now quite a while back, I've been mostly working on background lore, uh, creature descriptions, world building, but I started to work once more on the game a bit, so I figured I'd do a small update. The character creation. Uh, no, not not that one. The The new one. This one. I went with a, a look of kind of ancient parchment-y, leather-bound tome, metals and jewels, uh, evoking a, a sense of uh, either historical past or mythological past, kind of the idea of a fantasy realm. Uh, I'm very happy with it so far, and I think I'm going to keep going in this direction. But uh, I figure well, I'll quickly go through what everything is, and uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll start here on the left. Uh, there's the uh, the species uh, that can be noted. So I, I put intelligent species capable of empathy in order of rarity, because if it was in order of my favorites, it'd be very different. But it goes from the most common in the realm of Avacraft to the least common. And uh, technically I want all of these playable, but it'll be a while. It'll be a while. I, every species I add it adds a lot to having to write more paths and different reactions and all that kind of stuff. But all that in the future. For now, character creation only. I'm going to make it so that you can create whatever you want, and you can use this with the the tabletop rulebook that I made available for free uh, on avarcars.com for whoever wants to do a tabletop version of this, uh, a playthrough of an adventure. Uh, here we see the species image. Uh, I might do fancier paintings like my, my weekly paintings for all these, but I also kind of like the sketchy look of it all. Uh, down here you can choose your sex, male, female, feel free to roleplay however you want. Uh, down here, not quite yet finished, but I was going to do uh, just kind of additional stats. So how good are they at seeing? Is it daytime, nighttime? You know, can they see in the dark? Are they? Can they fly? Can they swim? That's usually more applicable to some of the more rare species, like the merfolk. <clears throat> Continuing on, we see on the right-hand side here the description of uh, any species that you choose from the main to any kind of subspecies or races within that species. So the humans have a few, right? The elves and dwarves have a few, but I'm not going to go too far into that. The culture is just the general kind of how they live day to day for the general folks, and the faiths are the different gods and deities and religions that they all follow. This will be further expounded in the background section, which is not yet complete. If I click the tab, nothing happens. Uh, as I said, not yet done, still working on it. Down here we have the ability score uh, counters. So this is just the average uh, ability scores for any member of that species, and it can be increased or de decreased to a certain extent. However, as noted down here, an ability score point increase is an incredibly rare occurrence, gift of the ages by birth. I really like the idea of low fantasy with a select few heroes, and I also made it that um, the numbers are a lot lower than most modern RPGs, right? A single point increase. You find a sword with a plus one, that is, holy moly, you are lucky. So to show that, I made a character rarity section down here. And uh, the, the character rarity is just a give or take. It's not proper math. It's just kind of a, an approximation to show the number of how rare that species is compared to an individual in the land of Avercarth. And yes, that image is not yet done. <laughs> but um, to show what I mean, if I increase the single score, let's say in agility, all of a sudden the character rarity jumps up quite a bit, right? There's there are very few uh, Carthians would have an agility of 11, and if they have an agility of 12, then it jumps even further up. It have the, and then they have three points to spend to grasp. And there's, wow, okay, this individual is, is a, a rare birth for sure. But yeah, continue on. with The background, as I said, does nothing. The skills is what I'm currently working on, and this will be uh, the character's age for each year they've lived. They will be able to spend that year training either a learned skill, a natural skill, maybe a trade skill that might jump into the background, and then their knowledge as well, if they've read a lot about other species or even their own, or they're very knowledgeable about all the kings and queens of the, their lands or whatnot. But uh, so you can increase the points, and it'll increase the score of that ability. But it'll cost you the the points, and the points increase quite dramatically, right? Fifty, then a hundred, then five hundred, so on and so forth. Uh, 
then the specialties will be special classes available to um, the, the species chosen and once again those are, are a rare occurrence say like a paladin uh, walking around or a wizard or any of those kinds of things then that would be a speciality and once again the character's rarity would jump up like crazy anyhow this is how it's all coming along it's been a lot of fun learning a, a unreal engine zumg and ui interface a, a ton more but uh, i think i'll stop the video now because it seems there's construction happening <laughs> outside uh, thank you very much for watching as always and more paintings to come.